In other news, the National Council of States has approved the pardon of 45 persons recommended by the Presidential Advisory Committee on Prerogative of Mercy. Among these are four persons recommended for presidential pardon, including the former governor of Old Bendev State, Ambrose Ali. Tai Amodu reports. Attendance at the National Council of States peaked as the meeting got underway. All former presidents, with the exception of former President Ulushe Gumobas, on Joe were in attendance. All former chief justices of the Federation joined federally, as did state governors, with the exception of Ebony and Azamfara states. Approved by council were the names of 45 persons submitted by the Presidential Advisory Committee on Prerogative of Mercy, two inmates for pardon, 39 inmates for clemency, and four ex-convicts for presidential pardon. The four ex-convicts pardoned are former Governor Old Bendel State, Professor Ambrose Ali, Colonel Moses F. Young and Major E.J. Olan Rewaju, both convicted in the attempted coup during the General Ibrahim Babangida era, and Ajayi Ulushola Babalola. We have succeeded in uh, having uh, over 4,000 inmates uh, taken out of our correctional centers formation across the country on account of the support of the governors. So what we have today is indeed a consolidation over what has been done and a lot of other strategies were put in place by His Excellency, Mr. President. The National Council of States was also briefed on the state of insecurity in the country. President Buhari had approved continuous recruitment into the armed forces to tackle manpower challenges and an increase in equipment procurement. A national center to monitor preponderance of small arms and light weapons has been set up in the office of the National Security Advisor. This uh, center will provide the strategic framework for containing the proliferation of small arms and light weapons, especially those coming from across our borders within the sub-region and also those coming in through the maritime environment. Tai Amudu, TVC News, Abuja.